and the uh, relationship of solving variables, solving equations, right? This becomes very simple. If you don't, well, it can be very complex. All right, the first thing I have to understand is y equals mx plus b, right? m is the slope. b is the y-intercept, okay? The y-intercept is the starting point. One, two, three. That's where I start. Then I go with my slope. My slope is rise three, run five. Or go down three and left five. Either way, I have my line. It's simple. It's simple. Y equals mx plus b. In this case, it's not y equals mx plus b, so what I want to do is switch these guys. This is negative, right? So I want to make it positive. I just move this over here equals negative x plus 2. Guess what? Now it's y equals mx plus b. Is that 124? Yeah. And so with this, m is negative 1. b is 2. So my starting point is 1, 2, negative 1. Now that doesn't have a rise and a run, right? So what I do is give it a rise and a run. So now what it means is down 1, right 1. Or up 1, left 1. Right? Either way, sorry about that. Either way, it's a good line. That's it. So what I did there was a little little twist. I traded spaces, but then I also made these both opposites. I made this a positive, I made that a positive. Okay? And what I did there was this. Plus y plus y minus or plus two plus two. That's all I did. Except I did it in my head. Does that make sense? A little bit? Okay? Alright, once you get this, it's quick, it's easy.